don't settle for fakes. My dual taining is the real deal. Hey everyone, it's Mechtold. Welcome to my Banlish Wistlist video for the newest uh, KC Cup format that uh, just ended. So some context, uh, I'm recording this before the KC Cup ends. I'm recording this before the start of stage 2, actually. And um, I don't plan on playing stage 2 as much as I did the last time. I have plans with friends this weekend. So, you know... I, st I think I, st I still have some, you know, legitimacy making this wishlist because I play a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links so I have a fair idea of what the uh, best decks of the format are. You know, Mech Knights, Gookies, and of course Cracking Dragon. Speaking of Mech Knights, here are the changes I would like to see put in place. Limited 3 for Blue Sky and Memory. Both of these basically achieve the same thing, which is getting your extenders and sometimes even starting your plays at all uh, just really annoying cards to be facing and uh, i don't think mcknight should have like the opportunity to play both of these and have access to the very powerful limited three pool of trap cards in the game also i'd like ebly to be moved to limited one it is not a fun card to be playing against and putting it to limited one will basically take it out of mcknight lists who will have to rely on good old What's this card's name? Cleric something? Swap Cleric in order to kickstart their plays, which is still a pretty good card, you know? It's still a pretty decent overall. On to Gookies. Uh, first and foremost, finishing move at 1. I think it's only fair that you need to trade some consistency in order to have the inevitability of basically being able to OTK out of pretty much nowhere. This card is searchable. It is very powerful and sort of hard to interact with if the Gookie player reaches the end of their combo. So um, I think it's only a fair trade that you lose the Rota in order to be able to basically kill your opponent for pretty much free. And at back to 3, I think is a fair change in order to cut Gookies off of the limited 3 pull of trap cards that are completely ruining the game at the moment. Um, I think it's a more fair change than eating Suprex or cards that are really more determinative. Headback is a nice extender, but you don't lose games in which you don't open it. You just like you are going to need to use rematch more often going first than you would be uh, than you would have to otherwise. Galaxy is a deck that I love. So I think these are fair changes for it in, in the card department. The Runcate toolbox being able to just OTK out of nowhere is kind of annoying. Not gonna, not gonna lie, it's kind of a pain that McKnights can just have a Purple Nightfall and Indigo Eclipse and suddenly just clear your field out of nowhere after not letting you play for a whole turn. It's not really fun, it's not really interactive in any meaningful capacity. So I think putting these two to three should be a fair trade. It's going to hurt Galaxy. Oh no. Anyway, shouldn't hurt Cypher too much because Cypher seldom do goes into the full armor for on Dragon Guy. Uh, but it will hurt the ability to access, once again, the really busted uh, pool of limited three traps that are currently making this game so much less fun than what it should be. You know, I think this is a, a cool and necessary change in order to avoid being compulsed on your turn and then OTK immediately because this isn't fun. Other cards that should uh, that deserve a mention, I think Needle Ceiling and Book of Moon are both strong contenders for joining the pool of uh, Busted Out the Ass Limited 3 cards. Book of Moon is a very game determinative kind of card and Needle Ceiling has proven to be quite an annoyance in some decks and I think its popularity will only increase as we get more archetypes that can like protect themselves from, uh, you know, destruction. Stuff like Crusadia has the, I think it's a warrior that can banish itself from Grave in order to avoid Yonkai arts uh, destroying themselves. Rockets, but that's not a good idea to play Needle Ceiling in Rockets. And probably a bunch more archetypes that I can't even think of right now because who cares. And Book of Moon is just, you know, the strongest card, one of the strongest cards in the game at the moment. 
And also Lady Debug should be moved back to Unlimited. It's really flabbergasting that Lady Debug had to suffer for Sam and Great Sins. I think moving it to back to Unlimited and moving Circle to 3 would be like a fair adjustment for Sam and Great. A buff for Cold Talkers, which is a deck that's not really threatening anyone right now. But I don't know. Oh yeah, of course, uh, some more cards should probably get mentioned there, like uh, Ritual Beast, Helder Guy, uh, Karakuri, something, whatever. These are not like meta impactful, so th these could come back to like four copies. Nobody would care. Skills, we should change them. It says Galaxy, there's no reason why this uh, skill should not be once per duel, just like Mechlon Refinement is, just like the Rose Dragon skill is. You have to choose between making a very safe turn 1 play with Photon Lord and being able to OTK super super easily by investing basically no resources into a big beta. You should have you should have to choose, you shouldn't just be an auto win, you already have like two foolishes, one foolish is enough. You should have to choose. You should have to choose. And also it should probably require you to play more Galaxy slash Photon Monsters. I saw a very cool list that was like two Galaxy Ice Photon Dragons, three Wizards, uh, a couple of Knights and Photon Orbital, which I think is a really cool card that you could definitely be playing in this new sort of list. So, you know, there's, there's, there's no way this skill is not going to get nerfed, right? There's no way they're not going to nerf this skill again. And 3FX should probably have this uh, part about gaining life points that should be nerfed because it, it reaches absurd levels. I know it enables like trickstar combos in the very specific way where uh, you go to thick style and life points, you have 2,000 life points more than your opponents, and then you activate Crimson Heart, you draw two, and then in standby, you heavy slam your opponents. That's not fun. It's not a fun interaction either. And and the idea that you can just part of grid your way in general is really sussy. It's not really part of grid, it's more like graceful charity, but it's still pretty good. So, never this. Don't make me fight an opponent with like 17 billion life points, please. And that's it, that's all the changes that I want to see in the game. Uh, so that's the end of the video. Thank you everyone for watching. If you like the video, let me know. If you disagree with me, also let me know. Uh, follow me on Twitter, this is where I, I start posting more for some reason. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!